Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It's Friday, February the 10th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, global equity markets initially rallied overnight, with US unemployment data easing concerns about more aggressive rate hikes. However, by the afternoon on Wall Street, the rally had fizzled and the indices turned sharply lower as investors focused on earnings. Weighing on the S&P and NASDAQ was Alphabet, which extended its losses from the previous session after the Google parent's new chatbot shared inaccurate information, prompting concerns that it's ceding ground to rival Microsoft. Meanwhile, Disney shares, they uh, fell in late in the session after beating earnings estimates and announcing job cuts. Salesforce, it rose on reports that hedge fund Third Point had taken a stake in the company. PepsiCo rose on better than expected results, saying that while it expects inflationary pressures to persist this year, it is seeing resilient consumer demand. Shares in Kellogg came off late in the session, and it's despite uh, quarterly sales which rose, jumping 12% to $3.83 billion while revealing it's retaining the plant-based meat business it had planned to spin off. Drug maker ABV gained after beating fourth quarter profit expectations. Ralph Lauren also rising on better than expected quarterly sales. Shares on cardiovascular systems soared after Abbott Laboratories announced it would buy the medical device maker for $837 million. European shares climbed for the third straight session, data showing inflation is easing in Germany. However, Credit Suisse has reported its biggest annual loss since the 2008 global financial crisis and warned that a further substantial loss would come this year. The bank shares tumbling more than 15% after revealing a fourth quarter loss of 1.39 billion francs. And AstraZeneca reported better than expected fourth quarter profits, saying it's poised to grow as it bets on its lineup of cancer, metabolic and rare disease drugs to make up for its dwindling COVID product sales. Well, the US jobs market is the key barometer of the economy that the Fed and investors are watching. The latest data showing jobless claims increased more than expected last week to 196,000, but still at levels that show a tight labour market. This is despite widespread layoffs in the tech sector, as well as in finance and housing. According to Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin, tight monetary policy is being effective in slowing the US economy, saying, I'm confident that our foot is unequivocally on the brake. It just makes sense to steer more deliberately. The US dollar has fallen against most major currencies on renewed prospects that the Fed does not need to raise interest rates more than anticipated to get inflation under control. Well, the Australian share market is set to open lower this morning, with ASX futures down more than half a percent. Crude prices have fallen as an assessment of oil infrastructure shows it avoided serious damage from the earthquake that has devastated parts of Turkey and Syria. Meanwhile, natural gas prices have now fallen 46% since the beginning of the year, which is threatening exploration. This comes just six months after Russia cut its gas flows to Europe, which has seen lower than expected demand because of a warmer than average winter. Base metal prices are mostly higher. The spot gold price has fallen along with other precious metals despite a weaker US dollar. And the crypto market has taken a tumble. Bitcoin falling below 22,000 US dollars. Well, on the data docket today, the RBA's statement on monetary policy, plus US consumer sentiment and China inflation. And on the earnings front, we get half yearly results from REA Group and United Malt. That is your day ahead. We'll see you again on Monday.